Hey guys, Dave with Extreme Dent. Typically I'm making videos on before and after dent repairs. Today I'm actually in my kitchen. It's just kind of a cruddy day and I finished early and I thought it'd be fun to talk about some of the mini lights that are out there. Um, most of these you guys are probably familiar with, but maybe you don't happen to have all three in the same place at the same time to talk about them. So this might be like 10 minutes, I don't know. I'm just gonna rattle on. None of this is, is rehearsed, uh, and you'll see that quickly probably. But um, yeah, it's just kind of a fun video that shows some of these mini lights, and we all use them. So um, I guess I'll just talk a bit about what's here. The uh, Pro PDR light is the first one. The Carl Stuckey light is the second one, and then the James Lee Eliminate light is the third one. Uh, and this is what I'm most familiar with. I use the uh, I use the Eliminate light more than any of the others only because I've had it longer. These two I just kind of got recently as I was curious what uh, what they were like and how they compared. And I think it's great to use something and and when it works well, you know, awesome, but it's also nice to see what else is out there and see if maybe there's something better. So um, these, this is my phone that I'm using right here, so it might not be the best as far as what it's picking up, especially when LED lights come on. Sometimes it's uh, can be can be a little different under the LED lights being filmed. But I'll turn that down as low as I can. So just to talk briefly about these, um, these all have the option to adhere to a panel. I'm going to spin this camera around. There we go. Um, so these are the three lights together. The, the two outer ones are 20 inches, and then the Stucky is an 18 inch. Um, and they're all similar. And I'll tell you the truth. One, I'm not getting paid for this too, by the way. Uh, this is just my opinion. Um, and I love to kind of talk about how things work and share things and hear what you guys have to think as well. Uh, but <clears throat> these lights are uh, are all lights that I purchased these two being the newer ones that I got more recent, the Elimident, I've got like, I think I have five or six of these lights and I've made my living with them for the last four years. But recently, I just wanted to see how these guys work. So I'll talk a little bit about each of them and then I may miss some things, but hopefully it gives you guys some information that, that you can use for your future purchases or how you do things. Um, I'll talk a bit about <clears throat> from the ground up first. So I'll come to the back side of these lights. Um, these first two are stuck to the countertop. I would say that the James Lee light is, this is my opinion, but it'd be hard to convince me otherwise. I don't know of a of a small light that adheres better to a panel than the Eliminate light. You know, the suction cup that he's using, these Woods cup, I think these are three inches. Once this thing is mounted, it is not going anywhere. If it's a clean panel, um, I just don't see it going anywhere. And from there up, James has the patented spinal cord. So unlike a lock line, which I'll show you in a moment, um, this actually has the adjustability of each vertebra you can actually tweak. Again, sorry for the camera quality here, but these actually tighten up and you can loosen or tighten them to get <clears throat> your desired let me refocus here. Your desired, uh, you know, strength in the arm that's holding the business end, that's holding your light. So that also means over time, as these things wear, you can actually uh, tighten this up as well. So this right here, I think, is an awesome setup. Also, I know James Light, you can actually rotate this over and over, and the wire's not going to come undone because it's on a swivel inside. So that's kind of a big feature that I've always liked about them as well. But from the ground up, this thing is rock solid how it mounts. And I think it has the longest lock line slash spinal cord of the three. So you have more range, more ability to put the light in any position without necessarily taking it back off from the panel. So that's kind of a bonus. Um, and this Stucky light, I think uses a Ram cup. Unlike the other two lights uh, using the woods, I think this is a Ram. but. You can kind of see uh, this uses a standard lock line, goes back down to the base. Um, it's a little more, I've noticed, just a little more maybe tippy, 
but once you put it in a position, it's the lightest of the three lights. It stays where you put it. Um, so just an observation. And then this light, this is the heaviest light of the bunch. Um, this thing is, is, it's not crazy heavy, but it's definitely heavier than the other two, especially heavier than the, than the Stucky light. Currently, you'll notice I actually have this hooked up to, uh, this is the Medusa and it's on an ultra stand. So though this has, I think the worst, um, of the three, I think it's the, uh, least strong lock line. This kind of, you know, it will kind of go back down if, uh, if you're not really gentle and you're mounting it, um, on a panel. But the fact that this thing actually can be put on the Medusa, which I just learned today, I think is a huge bonus. So um, you can mount it to a panel. It's just not as light and and you don't have the range that you have on the others, especially the Elimident. So just talking about, um, you know, options, this thing does have the ability with the DeWalt to mount to the uh, Medusa base here. So that's really cool in my opinion. Uh, the two outer lights, so the Pro PDR is set up, as you can see, to run with a uh, DeWalt battery option, and that means you're providing your own battery. And it's the same with the Illumident light. I'm running the uh, DeWalt option as well. So, you know, when you buy a light from Pro PDR, uh, the mini light that is, and the Illumident light, um, you're going to choose, you know, what battery manufacturer you want to use. The Illumident, the big ones are DeWalt, Makita, and Milwaukee. The Stucky light, on the other hand, comes with his own battery, and I have not had this light long enough to tell you how long the battery will last, but it does last a long time. Uh, and down inside there, you can see there's a few green dots, like four of them. I think five is fully charged, so it's still pretty good. Uh, but this battery is removable. Uh, it turns on and off right here. <clears throat> that turns the light on. And it, the battery actually comes out from this side. So it slips back out this way and you can, uh, you can charge it <laughs> with this charger that it comes with. So that's pretty easy. Sorry, I got a phone call. Uh, so just to kind of talk a little bit more about the, um, the lights themselves, this light is a six light, six light LED strip setup. So each of these switches can turn you know, a different light on. I can go to the other side and show you, but that's where the switches are located. The dimmer is actually, the on and off and the dimmer is located right here. So this turns it on and off. And then this is the dimmer, which I really like this dimmer because it's fully adjustable and it's a knob. So I kind of, personally, I just like that. It's not a button you push. Um, the Stucky light, you've got your two switches back here. Uh, this is a three light set up so you've got your center light and then you've got your two outer lights you can turn on and off and this has a dimmer as well and then the limitant you've got your on and your off sorry this is a bad angle here but you've got your on and off switch and then your dimmer you know bright and dim and then you can turn the lights on individually uh, this is a six light setup as well i believe so um as far as the options go on the lights uh the limitant's been out they just make so many options when it comes to setup. You know, you can have so many different lenses and um, you got the bat vac that you can actually, you know, have it adhere to the panel itself. You don't have to pump this like you do on this one uh, and anything in between. So Illumident just seems much more customizable. And, um, and then the Pro PDR, I don't see as many of these out here, but between all three of these, Again, I think I mentioned this, but this is the lightest of the three. This is pretty darn light, but this is definitely the lightest. This is the heaviest, but as far as the light itself goes, uh, personally, I think this has the best light. I'm amazed at the detail this can show on a panel uh, right down to the orange peel and in between. So when you're doing the little lows and the highs, this thing is just so stinking clear i can't believe the clarity uh these both are excellent too and again all three could work but um i just think this this is me personally talking but i feel like this light is 
um, probably the, I'm going to turn that down just a little so while I talk here. Um, also, I should tell you that of these three lights, um, this, I think, gets the brightest by far. This is the, the dimmer, or sorry, the bright. Yeah, you can dim and brighten it with this knob. This thing gets stinking bright. Can't believe um, how bright it actually gets. So you can control, you know, your light switches are down here, as I mentioned earlier. But, yeah, there's six strips that you can turn on and off. And so kind of nice. This one, the Carl Stocky light, this is just a three-light setup, but you can get them with, um, with different options. And so I'll turn these on and off. And then it does have a dimmer. And then same with this one. This one has a dimmer as well, and you can turn the lights on and off individually. This is a six strip, looks like as well. So, so I don't know if this helps anybody. I'm just kind of showing these up close and how they work. Um, they all have their pros and cons, I think, but they also all do the job well. If you uh, if you have a preference, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. I think the I'll, I'll just mention this too. The lens comes out the easiest on the Stucky Light. It literally just slips out from the top, and the LEDs are right under. Um, the new, this is not even a brand new, it's like an unused, but but not the current model that's out there. Um, I think they still sell these. I think this is the Revision 2, but the newest Illuminant lights have uh, the little panel, the little door that opens. You slide the two slides, and it hinges open, and you can get the lens in and out. And those, I think, have the three different settings. So you can get closer or farther away from the LEDs if you want a tighter fade. Um, and then this lens, I have not seen. I don't think it was meant to just slide out. I think it's meant to just be a fade, and this is what you get. Um, but uh, incredible. All these things work great. I can't imagine doing a job without them. If you guys got any thoughts or comments or you want to chat lights, um, Love to hear your thoughts too, but this is just something I thought I would share and kind of have these three next to each other so you can see see them in the works. Um, and yeah, there it is. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys on the next one.